I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to the first day of the new year, the year 2021. May the peace and the grace, the love and the power of God Almighty overshadow every soul this year in the name of Jesus. The Lord has given us this year as a year of abundant testimonies and I pray all throughout this year you and your family shall be recording testimonies upon testimonies in the name of Jesus. We start today's workout by singing to God be the glory, great things he has done. As you sing along, may you encounter great things this year in the name of Jesus. To God be the glory, great things he has done. So love in the world that he gave us his son. Who yielded his life and atonement for sin. And open the life gate that all may go in. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the head hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give him the glory, great things he has done. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, a redemption, the purchase of blood to every believer, the promise of God, the vilest offender who truly believes, the moment from Jesus a pardon receives. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the head hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father, through Jesus the Son, and give him that glory, great things he has done. Great things he has taught us, great things he has done, and great are rejoicing through Jesus the Son. But pure and higher and greater will be I wonder our transport when Jesus we see. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the head hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father, through Jesus the Son, and give him the glory. Great things he has done. Amen. Remember, today is Friday, the time for healing and deliverance hour. And to the glory of God is the first day of the year 2020. I want you to lift up your bottle of water and shout with boiling anger. Say, Oh Lord, my Father, lay your hand of power upon this water. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord God, my Father, lay your hand of power, your healing power, lay your hand of healing, lay your hand of revival, your hand of deliverance, your hand of love, your hand of healing, your hand of deliverance, your hand of love upon this water. In the name of Jesus, oh God, my Father, lay your hand of power, your hand of healing, your hand of love upon this water. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, plans of the enemies to pollute the water in my body plans of the enemies to pollute the waters in my body fail in the name of jesus every plans of the wicked to pollute the waters in my body fail in the name of jesus fail in the name of jesus plans of the wicked to pollute the water in the bodies of my children in the bodies of my wife in the bodies of any members of this platform be put oh lord my father oh lord destroy their plans oh lord destroy the plans every plans of the wicked to pollute our water to pollute the water in our body be destroyed right now. Be destroyed right now. Be destroyed right now. Let the plans of the wicked, let the plans of the ungodly to destroy the waters in our bodies. Let their plans be destroyed. In Jesus' name we are praying. Say the water in my body shall not abhor infirmities and sicknesses. In the name of Jesus, the water in my body shall not abhor infirmities and sicknesses. In the name of Jesus, the water in my body, hear the word of the Lord. You will not abhor sickness. You will not abhor infirmities. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus, you will not have sickness. You will not have infirmity. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, power of God, flush out every sicknesses 
infirmities, diseases in my body, flush them out in the name of the power of God. Flush out infirmities, diseases, sicknesses in my body. Be flushed out, be flushed out, be flushed out in the name of Jesus. Power of God, flush out sicknesses, infirmities, diseases in my body. Be flushed out in Jesus' name. We are praying. Say anything planted in my body to cut short my life this year. Be vomited out in the name of Jesus. Anything planted in my body to cut short my life this year. Be vomited, be vomited, be vomited, be vomited, be vomited. Anything planted in my body to cut short my life this year. I vomit you out. Anything planted in my children's body, in my wife's body, in the body of any members of this platform. Be vomited right now. Be vomited. Anything planted in our body to cut short our lives. Be vomited. Be vomited. In Jesus' most blessed and wonderful name, we have prayed. Great and marvelous Father of bless you. We exalt your name because of who you are. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Lord, we are grateful for giving us the grace to see the beauty of another year. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Father, we surrender all to you tonight. We know we have sinned against you. We pray for mercy. Have mercy upon us. Wash you all our sins and create in us, O God, a new heart in the name of Jesus. Lay your hand of power upon us and open our understanding into the mysteries of this year in the name of Jesus. Connect us, O God, with every blessing that you have prepared for us this year and let every plans of the enemies over our life this year, O oh God, be terminated in the name of Jesus. Father, I surrender myself before you. Anything in me that will make me Lord to speak heresy. Anything in me, Lord, that will make me Lord to speak the tiny words of man. O oh Lord, my Father, purge me, remove me, break me down and use me, Lord, as your vessel as your mouthpiece to speak the word of life, the word of truth, and the word of revival into the lives of your children in the name of Jesus. Let the message of tonight, O oh Lord, let it set the captives free and let it depopulate the kingdom of darkness and populate your own kingdom. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. Beloved, to the glory of God, the Lord has given us the grace to talk about the requirement for enjoying the latter glory. Early in the morning, the Lord gave us a message about the latter glory being the weakness of the latter glory and this hour the lord wants us to talk about to remind ourselves about the requirement for enjoying the latter glory there is nothing there is no promises that god will give without telling us the requirements thereof in ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 6 ecclesiastes 11 verse 6 the bible says in the morning so thy seed and in the evening we told not thy hand, for thou knowest not whether they shall prosper, either this or that, or whether they both shall be alike. Praise the Lord. The Bible is admonishing us that we should not be slack in whatever things we are doing, that we should make sure that constantly we are engaged. In Deuteronomy 28, from verse 1 to 13, Let's see the latter glory that the Lord has prepared for us this year. Let us see the beautiful things, the promises of God for our lives this year. In Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 to 13, the Bible says, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on on high above all nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come on thee. And overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall thou be fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, and the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket, and thy store. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thy enemies that rise up against thee to be smiting before thy face. They shall come against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessings upon thee in the storehouses and in all that thou settest thy hand unto. And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. The Lord shall establish thee and holy people unto himself as he has sown, sown unto thee. If thou shalt keep the commandment of the Lord thy God, and walk in his ways, and all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods, and in the fruit of thy body, 
and the fruit of thy cattle, and the fruit of thy ground, in the land which the Lord sworn unto thy fathers to give thee. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven to give rain unto thy land in his season, and to bless all the works of thy hands. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. And the Lord shall make thee the head, and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath, if thou hearken unto the commandment of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day to observe and to do there. The Lord is asking you and I to obey him, to follow his commandments, to make sure that we don't depart from what he's giving us to do. He's asking us to obey. And as we obey the word of God, may all the blessings in this year, may they locate us in the name of Jesus. Early in the morning, during the crossover, there were so many prophetic words being given about the promises of God for this year. May many of us, we have failed to ask ourselves, what are the requirements? What are the things that we must do in order to get the benefit of the blessings of God? In Proverbs chapter 6, from verse 4 to 11, we are looking tonight as the requirement for enjoying the latter glory. The glory of 2021. There are requirements. Please don't get yourself entangled with heresy. Get yourself acquainted with the Bible every day and seek the face of God always so that you and I can understand what the law requires from us. Praise the Lord. In Proverbs chapter 6. From verse 4 to 11, the Bible says, Give not sleep to thy eyes, nor slumber to thy eyelids. Deliver thyself as a roe from the hands of the hunter, and as a bird from the hands of the fowler. Go to the ants, thou slugger, consider her ways, and be wise, which, having no guide, overseer, or ruler, provided her meat in the summer, and gathered her food in the harvest. How long without sleep, O slugger? When we thou rise out of thy sleep, yet a little sleep and a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep, so shall thy poverty come as one that traveleth, and thy want as an armed man. And in Psalm 1, from verse 1 to 2, Psalm 1, from verse 1 to 2, the Bible says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. Praise the Lord. So what are the requirements? Looking from the Bible, according to the word of God, there are so many things that the Lord has deposited in the scripture that we have read, that if we follow, we are bound to enjoy the blessings of 2021. Number one, we have 21 requirements for enjoying the latter glory of 2021. Number one, we must put God first in everything we are doing. Don't let God be second. Put God first. Number two, we must be obedient to the word of God. Obedient to the word of God, not the word of man, but to the word of God. Number three, we must have faith in God and in the word of God. Number four, this year, the Lord is asking us to be more prayerful. You and I should be prayerful. Number five, we should study more of the Bible. Number six, live a holy and honest life. It's a requirement. We must be holy and we must be honest with ourselves, with our makers, and with our neighbors. Number seven, we must be helpful and generous to the needy. Is a requirement be helpful and generous to the needy number eight we must have a vision goal and working plans for our lives they and they have visions they have goals and they work according to their vision so this year is part of the requirement for enjoying the latter glory have a vision have a goal and a working plan for your life. 
Number nine, work hard and stop sleeping your life away. Many people slept out of their years away last year. And now, if they continue the same way this year, they will get the same result. If you want a different result this year, then change your sleeping pattern. Work hard and stop sleeping your way, your life away. Number 10. Stop working in the counsel of the ungodly. Separate yourself from the associations of the ungodly. Number 11. Stop standing in the ways of sinners. You will see these ones in Psalm 1 from verse 1 to 2. Stop standing in the ways of sinners. Number 12. Stop sitting with the scornful. Those who are always slandering the body of Christ, slandering the heavenly beings, those that are always passing on ungodly comments, stop being with them. Number 13. Delight yourself in the word of God. Meditate day and night on the word. We should delight ourselves in the word of God and meditate therein day and night. Number 14. We should stop wasting our resources. Stop spending any hour. Stop wasting your resources. Start learning to spend prudently. Number 15. Start savings like the ant. The ants they save for the raining day. You and I, we must start saving for the raining day. We must start saving for our future. Don't spend all your money on material things. Save for investment. Number 16. Get yourself busy and be productive. Don't just spend your days on social media or on TV or doing things that are not productive. Spend your day doing things that will add value to your life. Number 17. Be a producer and not a consumer. In 2020, many people were just consumers. But in 2021, part of the requirement of enjoying the latter glory is for you and I to become producers. We must start producing things, produce services, produce goods. Let people come to you to buy, to sow money into your life, not you just spending, spending, spending. Become a producer and let people invest and buy your goods and services. Number 18, separate yourself from parasites. Anyone that you are moving with, that they are always feeding on your wealth. Separate yourself from them, lest they will feed and feed and feed till they empty your life. Separate yourself from parasites. Number 19. Separate yourself from negative-minded people. This year, you need to redefine who your friends are. You don't need negative-minded people around you this year. Number 20. Surround yourself with achievers and encouragers. People that are always seeing the need for them to go out and achieve something. People are always encouraging you to do more. Surround yourself with them. And 21. Always be positive with your life. And with your thinking. Be positive with your life and with your thinking. This year, a lot will happen. Wonderful things will happen. And at the same time, the enemies too will release their own evil things into the world. But I pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that as we journey this year with God, Evil will not befall us. Disaster will not come near us. Every agenda and the plans of the enemies, every of their strategies shall fail in the name of Jesus. We will not be a victim of stray bullets. We will not be a victim of evil arrows in the name of Jesus. As the Lord God of heaven lives before whom we stand, every desires of our heart this year, the Lord will bring them to perfection in the name of of Jesus. I want you to pray like this. Say, enemies of my vision this year, 
die in the name of Jesus. Enemies of my vision, this year I command you to die. Every enemies of my vision this year, die, die, die. Command the enemies of your vision to die. Enemies that are attacking your vision in the sleep, in the physical, command them to die. They must die. Enemies of my vision, enemies of my goals, enemies of my plans this year, I command you to die. In Jesus' name, they are there. Say, oh God, my Father, separate me from the companies of wasters. Oh God, my Father, separate me, O oh God, from the companies of wasters. Separate me, Lord. Separate me, O oh Lord, from the associations of wasters. Separate my family. Separate my ministry. Separate my calling from the association of wasters. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, my Father, bless the work of my hands and make me a blessing to my generations. Oh God, my Father, bless the work of my hands. Bless the work of my hands and make me a blessing to my generation. Make me a blessing to my generation. Bless the work of my hands, oh God, and make me a blessing to my generation. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, oh God, arise. Let my stubborn enemies expire like the smoke in the name of jesus oh god my father let my stubborn enemies expire like the smoke let every stubborn enemies in my father's house in my mother's house in my in-laws house every stubborn enemies around me let them expire like the smoke let them expire like the smoke in jesus name we have prayed say my father make my dream reality and profitable Make my dreams reality and profitable. Oh God, my Father, let my dreams, oh God, become reality and profitable. Let all my dreams, oh God, in 2021, become a reality and profitable. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we are praying. Say, I will not lose my life and my investment in 2021. This year, I will not lose my life. I will not lose my investment. I will not lose my ministry. I will not lose my calling. I will not lose my marriage. I will not lose my job. In the name of Jesus, there shall be no loss in my life. In this year, I will not lose my life. I will not lose my family. I will not lose my children. I will not lose my blessing. I will not lose my joy. I will not lose my vision. I will not lose my power. I will not lose the anointing of God upon my life. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. I will not lose this year. I will not lose this year. I will not lose this year. Every battle that will confront me, oh God, I will not lose the battles. I will not lose the battles. I shall win battles. I shall win battles. My children will win battles. My family will win battles. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father. We cover ourselves in the blood of Jesus. I soak your life. I soak your days. I soak every step you'll be taking this year in the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost. The Lord will order your steps. The Lord will guide you. The Lord will direct you in the name of Jesus. The devil will not hijack your life. The devil will not hijack your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, the arrows that flies by day and the person that walketh in darkness shall not come near your dwelling place. In the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus will be a mark of defense, a mark of victory on your doorpost, on your head, on your children's head, on your family's head. In the name of Jesus, henceforth, nobody will trouble you and your family. Nobody will trouble my family. For we bear in our bodies the mark of the blood of Jesus. We bear in our bodies, the mark of the blood of Jesus. Your business will carry the mark of Jesus. Your job will carry the mark of Jesus. Your home will carry the mark of Jesus. Your ministry, your going out, your coming, everything that concerns you will carry the mark of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. I want to congratulate you for what the Lord has done for you. The Lord has given you the grace to see this new year and he has promised to give you great glory, great testimonies. From the first day, you will be a testifier in the name of Jesus. But be obedient to the word of God. Go through the requirement for enjoying the latter glory and start asking God, Lord, help me, help me to fulfill all this requirement. And you'll see that God will help you and you will enjoy the blessings of this year in the name of Jesus. We have other messages on YouTube on the Reality Christian Center channel, also on our website, www.thepathofreality.com. We meet every day on this platform, 6 p.m. Irish time. Every day, endeavor to invite someone. This platform is a platform whereby the Lord has chosen you to be a vessel, to be used to depopulate the kingdom of darkness. And the way to do so is by sharing the good news. Let those that are in captivity of the devil 
let them see let them hear and let them get connected to this platform and you will see that the more you share the gospel and the more you depopulate the kingdom of darkness the more your own heavens will be opening and the more you will be seeing the grace the power and the move of god in your life god loves it when we win souls God loves it when you and I, when we become soul winners. So be a soul winner this year. Win souls for Christ. Every day, learn to share the gospel. Learn to talk about Jesus to someone. If you don't know how to preach, learn just to pick a scripture in the Bible and post it on your own social media platform. Don't wait till when you can preach for one hour, two hours. No, share the gospel. Pick a scripture. Say, Holy Spirit, lead me. And show me what must I do in the day. And you will see the Holy Spirit showing you. Just pick a scripture, post it, and you will see that every scripture that you post will always win souls for Christ. In the name of Jesus. Let's share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven great hallelujah to celebrate this new year. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you and have a blessed year. Happy New Year to you and enjoy the fullness of God this year. Till we meet tomorrow, stay blessed. Bye.